Hello guys, Chris Craft here, and today I'm here with my brother. So, his name is, is Dale Craft. Nah. <laughs> he doesn't have a Google yet. My name is Reptile Master, so. He will be in my videos when he's teaching y'all about reptiles, Animal, animals. Reptiles. Yeah. And I will be doing a whole bunch of other stuff. And today, we are, what do you want to do? Uh, let's just do little educational videos about some sea animals. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we are there. Um, as you can see, in this, in this image is a manta ray. When it was first discovered, it was mainly feared because of its looks of, um, of a person who was overlooking it and thought it was an image of the devil, pretty much. And you'll pretty much see it if you look at any other images in, in search. Um, their wingspan gets up to 26 feet long. And Notice it's a manta ray, not a stingray. These don't sting. These don't sting at all. They, they have actually have the history of playful of being playful to other humans to other fish well mainly to their own kind but they only eat krill so they're like shrimp but they only well that's what shrimp is so let's go to the next one and here we go stingray this is a stingray so if you can tell me in the comments below what type of stingray this is and well, you'll be mentioned in all the other videos, okay? And so this is a type of stingray. Um, I can't tell you it starts with the B. I know what I know what it is, but stingrays have actually known to be very playful as well. Um, if you know um a person, Steve was it Steve Irwin? Yes, Steve yes, Irwin. Yes. That's who he is. Who was stabbed by a ray. I'm not even going to tell you the name because that's the type of stinger he was stabbed by. So he was stabbed by the ray in the chest, and it was a pretty sad moment of the manta ray, of stingrays, manta rays. You know, out of all the things, he was killed by this, and you would thought that he was going to be killed by a crocodile. But but fun fact of this is that they have actually have four sets of gills. Two on their heads and two on the bottom. As you can see. As you can see on the bottom. And the the one that's on top of their bodies is like right behind their eyes. So it serves as you can as see because, the gills right here. There's some on top and here's the mouth. What's the top one for? Because when they're buried in the sand, the sand um the gills on the top of their head will be will serving its purpose for for the gills on top of their head, so they are pretty lucky for having to be buried into the sand because so it they make it, they survive. All right, like, let's go to the next one. And here we go. And right here is a fruit bat. Here is a fruit bat, which is basically called a flying fox. If you can see why they're called a flying fox, because um most of them are almost as big as a fox, and their wingspan can get to a dramatic of length and length of their wingspan. Some people have said it was five feet and some have people said it's smaller. So we're just gonna stick to five feet. And they only live in like across our um in Africa and India and they feed on fruit and like any other bat, they are more nocturnal and they sleep upside down but except in like caves, which wasn't really true. For all bats, they hang upside down. And as trees. you can see, it kind of looks like a pig, too. Yeah, it, it kind of does. Some people have kept them as pets. It's but but leaves, it looks like it has leafy ears. Yeah, it looks like it has leafy ears. And I'm not really sure what serves a purpose of those ears. Actually, I do. Their ears, since they have pretty good hearing, but they don't have those ears for what other bats who eat, you know bugs and stuff so yeah let's go to the next here we go and here we are with the frilled lizard um 
If you are very fine with the whole dinosaur theory about them bringing them back by using chickens, um, I'm not really sure about that because I don't even personally believe chickens carry. The whole and if you know about a Dilophosaurus, it's a Dilo. Dilo. Dilophosaurus. Um, this is the closest thing we have. This is the closest to thing it. we ever had to a Dilophosaurus, and it's just pretty cool. Um, Dilophosauruses they tend to be poisonous, but but this is a frilled lizard. People keep them as pets, and believe it or not, they were, they will attack their own reflection because they're just so territorial about their about themselves, and they're very protective over themselves as well. Oh, uh, well, that's ter well, that's what territorial is about. But you know, you get the point. They will attack their own reflection. Um, as I actually have been noticed in most TV shows that do interview the real lizard, uh, they'll attack their own reflection in the camera. So that's that's about. It. That's just about pretty much about the fruit lizard, but also they get up to two feet long in length, and that's pretty good size. All right, let's go to the next. And here we go on to the next animal. This and is a vampire bat. Vampire bats, they seem to, they don't carry much parasites of what we figured that they would. They only suck on the victims who have open wounds, and if Another interesting fact about this is that in some hospitals, they do have these bats. And I mean by that, they use them for when people have any open wounds, any anything. Anything. Yep. Um, the fruit bat is is very, very protective over its own. Well, but this is the vampire bat. Yeah. Vampire bats, they only attack if you have open rooms, and they can smell, they can literally smell the blood, man. So don't be tricked. So if you have a cut or anything, do Ooh. not, if Ooh. you have one of these and have a cut, do not have an open door. Well, these bats live in Australia, uh, live in Australia, and, and in Africa, so you don't have to worry about anything about that, and, uh, the only bats you'll see are little house bats, you know, and... So, you don't have to worry about these things. Unless your hospital that you go to carries those things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, but they're very, very useful. They're so. very useful for medical expenses, you know. They're really useful. Alright, let's go to the next animal. Now on to the next animal, next and last animal. Hi, hey. guys. Um, this is a water monitor. And y'all may be saying, no, it's a Komodo dragon. Um, actually... Water monitors and Komodo dragons do carry the same traits as in physical looks, if you know what I mean. Um, water monitors have actually been kept as pets for a really long periods of time. You'd be surprised. Yeah, you you kind of be surprised of people who have these things, and you'll mistake them as Komodo dragons many, 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 many times. Um, surprisingly, they do get as big as Komodo dragons. Yep. But the only difference about the two is that they live in different places in the world. Yep. Um, I actually, um, um, Komodo dragons have been living in Africa and in some parts of Australia, as as some people and some uh, um, you'll say in the zoos they say that they've been living in China as well. But the water monitor lives mainly around water. That's where it gets its name. It is the water monitor because they live near water, and and they are pretty small at birth. To be actually quite amazed of how small one baby can get to how and big, how big they get to how big they don't. actually get. And it looks like they they do they have a long lifespan. Um, the captivity. I've heard about. 15 years in captivity, but in the wild, they say up to 30 years, maybe. Cool. Well, the, actually, the longest living one was actually up to 30 years. Cool. Um, but yeah, they you will mistake this for a Komodo dragon, but if you know on anything else, Komodo dragons get up to 10 feet long. They, they get pretty huge, mm -hmm. and they like to live in more packs, but water monitors, they seem to live, like, in separate, they live separately from any other, but they live near water. As for Komodo dragons, they, they like to live in most, most water. What are you doing? 
Man. Just playing with the camera. Get your thing out of it, dude. It's fine, dude. Yeah, well, I'm blocking me out of it because you're both talking. So, yeah. Moon Dragon and Wonder Monitor. What do y'all think? Actually, one thing, one thing before we end this video here. Komodo dragons, they're dangerous. If some of you don't know what a Komodo dragon is, they carry bacteria that can kill you. And it's actually considered poisonous uh, saliva. They, it doesn't have anything to do, like, any fangs. It's their, back, it's their saliva that just drools out of their mouth. Constantly. So, yeah. Um... Thank you for watching Chris Crafts, this guy's videos. He he is new, and I am going to be new as well to the whole YouTube community. Um, you will see me in my future YouTube channel, but for now, you'll see me with Christian, with Chris Craft here. But we'll see you. And what time you do videos? Probably every day, every other day. So you're going to do daily videos? Two videos a day. Two videos a day? Yes. Okay, so. Don't forget to like. Don't forget and to like subscribe, and subscribe. And leave a comment down below. Awesome if I get a bunch of subscribers. If we can slam down 3,000 likes in this video, I would enjoy y'all. Thank you. And have a good day. Anything you want to say to them before I let um, go? When I do get my feature um, YouTube channel, before we do this, I want to help him upload many videos, such as his background pictures, his descriptions, and everything. It's like and this behind me. And this behind me, this is actually a room. My sister's room. But, but, it's, but pretty it's pretty big, and it's pretty quiet, and it's pretty, you know. Insulating. And she's a fan of... Marvel, and if you want to, you can get uh post some pictures of Marvel, and I'll show her. And then, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Thank you, and have a nice day. And for him too, please. <laughs> Goodbye, and have a nice day.